Yes, it's a music icon who's touring this summer with new music, and we cannot wait. Please welcome to the show, Belinda Carlisle. Belinda, first of all, you look fantastic. Oh, thank you. I say that with much respect right here. Um, and congratulations on the new music. I got to say, because I love the Go-Go's documentary, and I don't yeah. think people realize that the Go-Go's were the first female, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, group to write their own songs, play their own instruments, sing their own vocals, and hit number one on the charts, correct? Yeah, it is. I mean, and, and uh, not very many artists have had a debut album that has, you know, gone to number one. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. You started yeah. it off. Yes. And now, tell us about the lead single, Big, Big Love. I love the video that we saw. What's the inspiration behind this? Well, I mean, the whole thing was kind of a mistake. I was I was going to be retiring. Stop it right there. No, no, okay. no. I mean, I was going to slow down and just have a nice, quiet life. And I was planning on it. I was quite happy with that. And then my son ran into Diane Warren at a, at a coffee shop. And she said, what is her mom doing? Let's call her. So... She said, I'm not going to say exactly what she said because she <laughs> swears all the time. But she said, um, get down to the studio. I have some hits for you. And I thought, oh, my God, do I really want to do this, you know, and open that door? Because it's a big commitment. But so I heard the songs, and I was inspired by the songs to really, to, to, to really sing again and, and to uh, make new music. I hope your son got a great coffee that day. We owe this all to oh, your he's, son he's going down He's getting lots of kudos. What does he say about all of this? <clears throat> well, I mean, of course, he likes to take responsibility for everything. <laughs> you know, it's, but he, it was actually, I mean, he pushed me. So uh, he's, he's responsible for this. How we're making videos today different from back in the 80s. Oh, um, oh my gosh, Belinda, it was on loop at MTV, and we were here for all of it. Well, I mean, I hadn't made a video since 1997. <laughs> so, and. Look how cute. I oh, know, my goodness. So. I was kind of like, oh, you know, I, I was, a lot has changed. They don't have the budgets like they used to, but um, it was still a lot of fun, and I had a blast, and I get to work with my friends, so, yeah, it's good. Cool. You're going on tour this summer. Yes. First of all, how excited are you for that, and what can fans expect? Are we doing old, new, somewhere in between? Yeah, I do everything from my, uh, well, not everything, because I would be there for hours, <laughs> but I do, you know, all the hits from my solo albums, I do, of course, some go-go songs because I, I have to. Thank you. And then I'll probably do, I mean, I know I will do a few songs off the new EP. So it's a mix of everything. Nice. Um, by the way, uh, belated congratulations. I know the go-go's were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. Long overdue. <laughs> what, uh, what do you remember about that night? Um, I, I, it was some, probably the most amazing night of my life. I mean, it was just surreal. I mean, I, I don't... Uh, we thought that we, you know we we were forgot forgotten about, but I think it was the documentary really that no, nobody really knew the story of the Go Go's. They assumed that we came from a TV show, you know, or like yeah. a Simon Cowell or something. But we <laughs> came from the garage in the yeah. punk days, and You're we all the Roxy and everything. It was yeah, awesome. I mean, and and we taught ourselves, and I mean, when people realized the story, then it was like whoa, you know. And and I think if it hadn't been for that documentary, we might be still be waiting around for. The Rock Hall. Oh, yeah. that's so Power cool. Television yeah. right there. Is it true you're working on a show about your life? And let's cast this, uh, Belinda. Well, you know how those things go. You never, I mean, whether they get made or not, we'll see. But yeah, it's in development. Um, if I was going to pick someone to play me, is that what you're going to yes. ask me? I would say maybe Florence Pugh. Dead on. That's a perfect <laughs> casting. Oh. It's really good casting think, right there. I think there's a lot of similarities, I think. Is the show edge. all about your life coming up into the Go-Go's band, or is it more about your personal life? Yeah, or? it's based on, I, I had a book, I wrote a book that was out in 2007, I, I don't even know, you know, but it was a while back. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a series based on the book, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I Look like forward this. to hopefully yeah. seeing it's, that it's get a lot, of, a lot of, you know, of course, the Go-Go's is a big part of it, but it's more about my sort of journey, I guess. Sure. And I hope it's the fashion sure. and all of it. Well, in honor of um, your Decades tour and your new single, Big, Big Love, we're going to roll through some decades, okay. and you tell us what okay. you had Big, Big Love for. Okay? Okay. I love this. What did you have Big, Big Love for in the 70s? In the 70s? Um, probably... 
beach culture, because I grew up in Southern California. Oh, so. where, where are you out here? Um, I grew up in Thousand Oaks. Okay. So I had like a surfer boyfriend, and would go over the hill to Malibu. Look at that and picture. So yes. 70s surf culture. That's that's what I remember about the 70s. Of what okay. I love. That's just surfing. ultimately cool. That's just yeah. cool right there. All right, the 80s. What'd you have big big love for? I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> I know if you I watch the doc. That. <laughs> we can leave it right there. That's a good time. 80s, yes. It's the 80s. What about the 90s? Did that the love wanes? <laughs> I say short hair because I had I just saw a clip thing of me having yeah. short hair. I cut my hair off in the 90s, so I'll say short hair. Well, it was short in the 80s too, though. At one point. Yeah, it was really short in the 80s, but it was yeah. short. Short in the 90s. Short in the 90s. <laughs> but it we had big, big shorter. love in the 90s. Fair enough. Right now in your life, Belinda, what do you have big, big love for? I think it's my family, of course. Yeah. 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 I love the story about your son. I think that's so beautiful. Yeah, right it's there. great. I mean, if it wasn't for him, I'd you know I'd be. You know, relaxing in Mexico in the mountains. Well, great to see you. Great Thank you so you much too. for coming in the studio. We'll see you on tour. Right. Belinda's new EP, Kismet, is available right now. All right, coming up from the NFL schedule to Martha's Sports Illustrated cover, we're going to be breaking down the trending sports stories in the news coming up next. Did you